What's happening folks? Johnny here, Movement Evolution, and I'm on the floor, but this is our foam roller bridge. I got this absolute nugget of gold from David Gray. This work is by no means being passed off as my own. Starting with this one, the mistake a lot of people make is not keeping the knee length relative to that of walking. So you know, about a three quarter bend. We don't want to be in here. We don't want to be there, it's just impossible. So about that three quarter bend, it's relative to like a stride of walking run. From there, first thing we're going to do is get those ribs to come down. Once the ribs are down, we're then going to tuck the tail and we're going to push the balls of the feet into the rotor to get the hips off the ground about an inch. For a lot of people, just holding this position here is going to be absolutely insane. Again, we're thinking about squashing the orange through the ball of the foot, so we're trying to get that calf as high as we can without pushing ourselves further under the bridge with the glutes and hamstrings. We want to keep the glutes and hamstrings working, but we want to make sure that the calf is working really hard here. What this will then progress into is a single leg variation, and we can also start to integrate our gait to this one we're reaching with the left hand. For now, focus on building up the 45 seconds with three sets through the double leg. Then when you go to single leg, make sure your he's not here or else the quality of the move is gone. I would aim for anywhere between three to four sets of up to 45 seconds, and this can definitely be done before any lower body training, before any walking and running. GAA, cheers. So give it a go.